drag me on, perhaps you're up, yeah Is there a point to all these fancy clothes? With all these buckles from your head down to your toes Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Calista Solon, and this is NLC Trans. Um, tonight, I'm here with my usual co-host and dear friend, Tara Alexander. And we have a very special guest tonight, um, an author who lives here locally, and um, Ron Suresha, who's written, um, did I say that right? Suresha. 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 Um, you've written, what, seven or eight books now? Yes. Wow. Mostly dealing with, um, with bears. Um, uh, about half bears and half other subjects. Okay, and and um, and I have to ask now. Now, see, I have um, sort of an idea of what what bears are for me. I I'm, okay. Well, okay. So I'm I'm into kind of teddy bear guys, but I'm not sure you know in in, in this context exactly what the definition of bear is. Maybe, maybe you could start with some definitions so we sure. we kind of know. Sure. Well, the, um, when we say bears, we're not talking about the, you know, the four-legged kind, of course. We're talking about... Ursus horribilis. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, but we're talking about a gay and bisexual men's uh, community that had its roots in, 19, in San Francisco in the mid-1980s. I happened to be involved with uh, some of the people who were... Um, involved with uh, the magazine that sort of put a name to the movement. Although there have always been, you know, big, large, you know, hairy, bearded, you know, gay and bisexual men, some of whom have gone by the name Bear. Um, it sort of coalesced into a community and then into a subculture and, you know, whether it's a movement actually is arguable, but uh, in any case, uh, this uh, group of men who were <clears throat> very, you know, who were quite different from what you normally think of the stereotypical okay. young, ephebic, uh, gay male, right? You yeah, know, the, 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 the twink. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the twinks, you know, the, the twink the archetype or stereotype. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, and so the, the bear thing is very is really quite antithetical to that, um, you know. And it came out of you know the early um, the early AIDS uh, generation, in particular in San Francisco, uh, when when men were looking to um, you know to find new images of robust, healthy men mm -hmm. and the. The, uh, the Bear magazines provided those images, you know, in a very sex-positive way. Right. So, um, uh, I'm, I'm still kind of skirting your definition of, <laughs> uh, giving a definition of bears, but... Uh, it's, a, it's a different identity within the, the gay and bisexual male community other than the stereotypical one. Right. Right, exactly. That, and that's, so. yeah, you, people a lot of times, uh, people are, are familiar within the lesbian community that there's a, a range of expression within the lesbian community and they have different names for different parts of the spectrum. Oh, sure. But we're so caught up on not talking about gay men. 
because it's so scary sometimes that I that that I don't think it ever gets addressed. And mm. it was um, really enlightening when I first heard about the bear community, which honestly was only a couple years ago. Right. Um, and and the fact that while wow, you, you know, of course there are guys that are going to be gay that don't fit the metrosexual <laughs> stereotype. Right. You know, as well as everywhere in between, but. You know, just just to draw that 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 line, and say, yeah, there are people, there are gay guys that are over here too that that don't look and act and have, you know. We we've talked in the past about yeah. definitions and how pigeonholing it can be, but it can also be very useful when you have to talk to the broader community, the broader country, to have some frame of reference for your conversation. Right, so. right, and uh, the the bear. Uh, subculture also represented a, a certain kind of maturing or coming of age of the Stonewall generation yeah. uh, of uh, you know a, a certain group of gay men who had who were, who could no longer you know spin you know or try to you know act like they were 25 anymore <laughs> you know obviously I mean look I, I I just turned 50 this year and there's no way that I can even approximate that kind of that kind of look you know what you might you know see on the cover of the advocate or right. or genre or something like that <laughs> so um, you know so this was really you know the about affirming different kinds of bodies within uh, within the you know, GLBT right. um, you know sub, uh, subculture or culture Right, the, whatever all those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, G, for those who may not know, GLBT is uh, stands for gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender. And also, I and Q are often added to that. Inter, I, intersex and, 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 and A for allies and queer another for, Q for questioning. Queer for questioning yeah. and queer. Yeah, yeah that's, that's commonly referred to here as the rainbow community. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, clip ticker. That, that works for us. Rainbow community, I like. <laughs> Well, we do like acronyms in America. We do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <That> excuse me. <laughs> well, you know, there are, there are so many now, and they, they, they keep getting longer, and it's like, what are we talking about now, you know? But, uh, but uh, you know, all of this is really necessary. I mean, we yeah. see that, you know, like here, we're, we, you know, uh, recently with the uh, uh, Don't Ask, Don't Tell, with all of the national attention that, uh, queer issues are getting now, and we've seen that you know that some of the folks in the gay and lesbian um, activists uh, leaders have uh, been willing to uh, you know to essentially ignore or forget uh, other aspects you know uh, of the community, right. especially including bisexuals. Um, Very almost nervous. even more so than transgender folks. Yep. Yeah, because I think a lot of folks, yeah. when they see the LGB portion of it, it's like, well, if, 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 if everything is good for gays and lesbians, then bisexuals must be okay. Right. right. That it's, it's, a, it's just um, a, a byproduct of the other two. And it's really not. I mean, there's, there's a legitimate identity there. And that's what you were, ta I think, talking about with all the, with the acronyms is, it's very it's a very powerful thing when when you can when you see somebody who identifies as in in this case for the bear community as gay that breaks the stereotype there are, yeah. there are also uh, a, a fair number of uh, uh, lesbians and uh, some a certain number of trans folk who also identify as bear as well. Hmm.